Hello students, in this session I am going to discuss CBSE class 6th motion and measurement of distances question answers from 1 to 5. If you like this video, please share this video and subscribe and share your comments in the comment section. Give two examples of each of modes of transport using on land, water and air. So, they are asking that give two examples each of modes of transport using on land, water and air. Come to the solution. Land transport, bike, train, water transport, submarine, ship, air transport, helicopter, aeroplane. So, these are all the examples of each of modes of transport. One is land transport, bike, train, water transport, submarine, ship, air transport, helicopter and aeroplane. Next, to go to the second question. Fill in the blank. 1 meter is equals to dash centimeter. Second one. 5 kilometer is dash centimeter. 5 kilometer is in terms of meter should write. Third one is motion of a child on a swing is. Which motion here we have to write. Next coming to the fourth one. Motion of the needle of a sewing machine is dash. Fifth one. Motion of a wheel of a bicycle is dash go to the next one let us go for second solution fill in the blanks one meter is dash centimeter hundred centimeter five kilometer is how many meters five thousand meters third one motion of a child on a swing is periodic motion or oscillatory motion motion of a motion of the needle of a sieving machine is periodic motion come to the last one fifth one motion of a wheel of a bicycle is circular motion ok 1 meter is 100 centimeter 5 kilometer is 5000 meters, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So, 5 kilometer is 5000 meters. Motion of a child on a swing is either periodic motion or you can take oscillatory motion. Motion of the needle of a sieving machine is periodic motion. Motion of a wheel of a bicycle is circular motion. Next. Why can a pace or footstep not be used as a standard unit of length. Now coming to the solution. Pace or footsteps cannot be used as a standard unit of length because it is not same for every person. A standard unit should be same for everyone. Why? Because it is different for different people. That's why we cannot use a pace or footstep as a standard unit of length. Okay. Next, go to the next question. That is, arrange the following lengths in their increasing magnitude. 1 meter, 1 centimeter, 1 kilometer 1 millimeter we had to arrange this following lens increasing magnitude meter centimeter kilometer and millimeter the first one is smallest one is millimeter and then centimeter and then meter and finally kilometer this is the increasing order of meter centimeter kilometer and millimeter so first we should write millimeter and then centimeter meter and last kilometer 
next go to the next question the height of a person is 1.65 cm express it into cm and mm now we are getting solution first step is height of a person is equals to 1.65 meters 1 meter is equal to how many centimeters 100 centimeters 1 meter is equals to how many millimeters 1000 millimeters so 1.65 meters is equals to 1.65 into 100 that is equal to 165 cm next 1.65 meters is equals to 1.65 into 1000 that is equals to 1650 mm converting meters into cm should multiply with the 100 and converting meters to mm should multiply with the 1000 so 1.65 meters is equals to 165 centimeters. 1.65 meters is equals to 1650 millimeters. These are all the answers from 1 to 5. Okay. Thanks for watching this video.